Hi Bidders, thank you for watching and thank you for um, supporting my channel by watching and especially to those who have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. You are proper awesome. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and you'll be amongst the first to see my posts. I really love studying with you. Thank you so much for allowing me to uh, continue doing these videos. It's, it's so wonderful and I hope I can inspire you in some way. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> and whether you've been chanting for a long time or just a short while, studying is so important, isn't it? It helps us make sense of um, why we feel more positive when we do chant. Even if it's reading a sentence each day or even watching my videos, even just that little bit um, is wonderful because we are always moving forward then, aren't we? So well done for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this video. If this is your first time, this is not my first video. I have others. I have Basics of Buddhism videos as well as Gosho videos and you'll find them all in the created playlist section of my channel. If you are new to this practice, I should point out what a Gosho actually is. A Gosho is a letter written by Nichiren Daishonin to mainly his followers. Literally means honourable writings. Go is an honorific prefix and show means writings. So thank you to the person who suggested I cover this go show. I think it was one of my awesome YouTube subscribers who suggested it. Anyway, it's called the Dragon Gate. This letter was written in Minobu in November 1279 to a young Nanjo Tokimitsu who embraced the Daishonin's teaching quite early in life. It's a reply to Nanjo reporting on his role protecting the Daishonin's followers in the Atsuhara region, even sheltering some in his own home. If you've been practicing for a while, um, you will probably already know about the Atsuhara persecution. A number of the Daishonin's followers in the Atsuhara region were being persecuted by the authorities associated with the Kamakura government. And then in September 1279, the government arrested on false charges 20 farmer believers who all refused to recant their allegiance to the Daishonin. And on the 15th of October, three of these farmers were beheaded. Can you imagine meeting with such persecutions? Just because you have a different belief system. I, 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 it blows my mind. I couldn't get the words out because I'm so shocked at how people can be. Aren't we all worthy of respect? I mean, I get my fair share of, let's say, hateful comments. But come on, I never fear for my life. Have you ever met with resistance to your practice? Uh, I'm sorry if you have. I, I do know how it feels. Um, but I would like to hear your, your stories, your experiences, and maybe that can help other people when they meet with such resistance. Comment on this video or come follow me on Facebook and Twitter and let me know there. Whatever resistance you have had, I sincerely hope uh, you've viewed it as an opportunity to do your human revolution. Um, it, it can really be a positive uh, for our lives, can't it? That's certainly how I view negative comments. I'm not saying I enjoy them. I'm not saying I, you know, please send me hateful comments. No, 
<laughs> Some of them do make me giggle, actually. Um, do make me laugh. Um, but ultimately, they really help me um, to do my human revolution. I mean, earlier this year, someone asked me the question, why do you even bother opening your mouth? <laughs> Did make me giggle. I was formulating many uh, responses in my head. Why do I open, why do I bother opening my mouth? To breathe, to eat, <laughs> that was one reply. <laughs> so how did I respond? How do you think I responded? I'm gonna keep you waiting, <laughs> let you think. <laughs> it's a bit more boring than that. I didn't respond. I didn't wanna add fuel to the fire. Um, I didn't want to come back with a witty response or an angry response. I wasn't angry anyway. But such people want an argument, don't they? They, they want me to respond in, in anger. Uh, they're not getting that from me. <laughs> so I deleted, blocked and moved on. But the fact I get such comments gives me the opportunity to rise above it, doesn't it? Um, so I need to be thankful for these people. <laughs> no matter how big or small the obstacle in front of us appears, we must view such negativity as an opportunity to do a human revolution. Sensei encourages us by saying, there is a saying that the earth upon which we fall is the same ground which enables us to push ourselves up again. There's another which maintains that barley grows better after it has been trampled on. It is up to us to decide to live a life free from self-doubt and despair in spite of our failures. Indeed, it is during our most humbling moments that we should show greatest poise and grace. But how do we win over negativity so harsh that it manifests as a death threat? These 20 farmers in September 1279 were indeed facing such a threat. Unless they gave up their faith, they were threatened with being killed. Would you give up your faith if faced with that? I, I'd like to think I wouldn't. Um, I'd like to think that there is nothing that could ever happen that would make me give up my faith. Certainly those farmers refuse to give up their faith, even when three of them were unfortunately and sadly beheaded. Of course, Nitrin himself met with many persecutions but not once was he discouraged. In the opening of the eyes, which he wrote in 1272, he said, This I will state. Let the gods forsake me. Let all persecutions assail me. Still, I will give my life for the sake of the law. Wow, how brilliantly resolute. No doubt those farmers would have been inspired by such determined spirit by the Daishonin. For me, this whole Goshe is all about the Daishonin encouraging his followers to never give up their faith. Japan at the time was going through a terrible time back then, but Nichiren encouraged them by saying, we are very fortunate to be alive after the widespread epidemics that occurred last year and the year before. But now, with the impending Mongol invasion, it appears that few will survive. In the end, no one can escape death. The sufferings at that time will be exactly like what we are experiencing now. Since death is the same in either case, 
you should be willing to offer your life for the Lotus Sutra. And when we have such determination, when we have such strong faith, we cannot fail to win over every single one of our struggles. Okay, let's leave it there for part one. In part two, we'll go deeper into this Go Show and talk about why it's called the Dragon Gate and talk about its significance. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, happy chanting.